Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me Logan aka Frostfire and today we are going to take a look at a $800 computer build that has a legitimate upgrade path. Let's get started. For the CPU, we're going with the i5-4440. We chose this one because it's the cheapest CPU in the i5 line. The CPU itself is nothing special and the FX8350 is better for the money, but we're sticking with the i5 because unlike LG 1150, Socket AM3 Plus does not have much of an upgrade path, so the 8350 is suboptimal for this build. For the motherboard, we are going with the MSI Z97S SLI Crete Edition. The board has a lot of features for only being around $100, and I really like the white and black color scheme this board has. For the RAM, we chose 8GB of the Kingston Fury White series. Kingston is pretty reliable from what I have heard, and white matches the color scheme nicely. We are going with a pretty normal 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue because it's enough for games and it is pretty reliable. The GPU we chose is an interesting choice. I chose the MSI R9 280 3GB Twin Frozer. I personally chose this card because it runs most current titles at 1080p 60 frames per second and I have one myself so I know of its awesomeness personally because I've been living with one of those cards for almost a year now. Here, have a shitty picture of one in my personal rig. For the case, we are going with the Fantex Inthrough Pro ATX Full Tower. We're going with this one because it has a lot of room for upgrades and water cooling and it looks pretty awesome, especially if you get the white version. And for the power supply, we're going with the EVGA 850 watt 80 plus Moran semi-modular ATX power supply. Turn off your angry caps lock and listen. I know this build will likely not draw more than say 550 to 600 watts from the wall. And I chose this power supply because of upgradability. If I wanted to do something ridiculous like add another card or do something crazy like that, I could with this power supply. And the grand total of this initial build comes out to $768.38. And the PC part picker link will be in the description, just so you know. So that concludes this computer build all the way and I made this build as upgradable and future proof as much as I hate that word as possible so why not showcase a viable upgrade path before I end the video for the CPU we are going to upgrade to the i5 4690k we chose this one along with the z97 board because of overclocking if you want to OC you can plop down either a Noctua NHD 14 or Corsair H100i the H100i will run you $30 more than, no than the Noctua so keep that in mind We'll add in another 8GB of Kingston Fury Wide as well. We'll add in a Samsung 850 EVO for super fast loading times. And if you want, you could buy the 850 EVO along with the initial build so you can put your operating system in it. Now, you have a lot of choices for your video card upgrade. You could add in another 280 and run Crossfire. You could buy a single 980 and video sucks. Or you could Crossfire dual 290s! I know the motherboard has SLI in its name, but you can also run Crossfire on it too. That upgrade will run you either $1,010.84 with the H100i, $980.84 with a Noctua cooler, or if you sell your old R9 280 for, let's say, around $130, which is what they go for on Amazon and other websites, you can save around $100 off your second 290. And if you sell your old GPU along with your old CPU, the 4440, you can effectively negate the costs of the second 290 altogether. So that about wraps up this long ass video. Let me know if you want to see more build concepts in the future, and as always, stay frosty. Until next time.